filthy. Get your hands off. Gaijin Smash Podcast. Gaijin Smash! And that was uh, the beer song. Yeah, the beer song. Formerly by Awful Lonely and now by Worst Case Scenario. Yeah, that's, that's us. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> us too. Yeah. This guy's probably going to help us yeah, out too. Oh yeah, well if I'm the worst case scenario, you got nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Don't know about you that can look forward to the end of the world if I'm the worst case scenario. <laughs> so I'm Grin. I'm... I'm Let's go this way. I'm Anshan. I'm Brian. And I'm Craig. Craig's our special guest. He owns this fantastic bar. This is the Kiwi Tavern, also known as The Local. And uh, we have a special event, or he has, Craig has a special event every last Saturday of the month. That's right. It's the Customer Appreciation Day, and uh, he gives people free food. You know, come in, enjoy the music, buy some drinks, and enjoy free food. That's great of you, Craig. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, talking to the mic. Come okay. on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> don't be shy. Stick that sucker up there. <laughs> Put that right in your in, right, right in your n- there mug you. there. There we go. And the food yeah. is always awesome. Yeah, yeah. once a month we got this uh, uh, gig going, which uh, is basically free. F- it's a free buffet with lots of different sorts of uh, food that comes. Yeah, it's all good. It's great, and we also have live music, um, and uh, well, usually a couple of acts that goes on. But uh, most of the time, everyone really enjoys it. Yeah. So who's live today? Graham's live today. Graham yes. Smith. Yeah, Graham great Smith. Graham Smith. Oh, fantastic guy. And also Yuji and Kaz. You know, they Yuji do and Kazu, yeah. yeah. Y- Kazu, wait, wait. Yuji plays the steel guitar, right? Yeah, that's the one. And yeah, Kazu yeah. sings and plays the guitar. Yeah, that's right. And Linda Linda, his rendition of Linda Linda is excellent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Graham's Linda Linda is fantastic. Too. Graham's Linda <laughs> Linda is fantastic, too. But good. when Graham gets on stage, I want to hear him play Something's Missing and I want to hear him play Slow. Actually, I want to play. I want to hear him play any of his own stuff. Yeah, his, his, his own original stuff music. Is excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's good stuff. It's absolutely excellent. Yeah, yeah, so uh, first thing that we do is we open up the Ukon. We got well, choose uh, your poison. Choose your poison. I'm going to do the Cassis Orange. What, which, what do you think? Oh, here they are. Okay. Uh, the original. The, the original. All right. Shake Ukon. it up. Shake it, it. shake it up so we have no hangover tomorrow. And Kanpai. 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 Mm. Mm. Nasty. <laughs> Nasty. That's what I you say. You don't like it? That's what I say. These guys don't like it. I don't know why these guys don't like it. It's delicious. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I like it. it. I like it. It's delicious. I mean, it's all right. Yeah, I don't hate it. It's a bit like medicine, really, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> this is not like That's medicine. That's the thing, right? I guess I like medicine. This is medicine. This is, this, this is good. This, yeah. If my medicine tasted like this, bring it on. Hey, i got to get rid of that taste. I'm sorry. <laughs> and now we're going to have some beer. Cheers, guys. So, come by. Come by. And this is the best priced beer and the best tasting beer in Niigata. You want to yeah. have beer? you got to come to the Kiwi Tavern. Cheers, you guys speaking right. to the mic. Uh, you told me not to speak so close to the mic, but here oh. it is. Best prices <laughs> on beer and the best tasting beer in Niigata. This is it. Ah. Mm. Uh. That's, yeah. that's better than Ukon. It is definitely better than Ukon. Way better. Than Ukon. Damn, Way so better good. than Ukon. Wow. So oh, that's a good topics. Time. I mean, uh, I didn't. I didn't have any time to uh, write on the Facebook page or on the website because I was busy fixing the audio of the fourth podcast, which was hell. But it's the fourth fourth podcast is up. If you want to watch it, by the time you're watching this one, it'll be up on YouTube, and you can just find it there. Mm. But uh, this web, all the uh, uh, podcasts, the video podcasts, are up on the website first, and then they're on the YouTube channel, and then the audio uh, version on iTunes comes out a little bit later, whenever I can get to it. It's a lot of work. And we have close to 300 views combined, right? Yeah, about 300 yeah. views. And my uh, mom. Yeah, and your watched mom. Everyone. And your mom. Yes, wow. my mom is good. We, we should go, go over the rules. Oh, yeah, rules. Well, first rule is you're not allowed to say anyone is stupid for something that they said, but you're allowed to say, go "Go on. on. (laughs) (laughs) And the other rule is if somebody says, oh, we can't talk about that, then we have to respect that and we don't talk about it. And then there's my mother's rule, which is don't say the F word. Yeah, no the F words. Very Mm, against the F word. Fabulous, fragrant, flavorful... uh, Fire truck is fire good. truck. Yeah, fire truck's good. Flamboyant yeah. fudge <laughs> packets. <laughs> what the? It's my alternative to the F word. Fudge packets. Fudge packets. That's even more. Right. That's even more offensive. How is that more offensive? I don't know. Like fudge packets. <laughs> Do go on. 
Yeah, my one's you mother can... of all mothers. <laughs> mother of all <laughs> mothers. Like you mother just say mother nice. loving. <laughs> the mother loving. Mother. I'm gonna... mother. You gotta say it like Joe Pesci. Mother of <laughs> Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci. I love Joe Pesci. Get the New York accent. <laughs> you think I'm funny? Ha ha. You think I'm funny? <laughs> I've seen like three students go by so far. Yeah, this is three of your students. The yeah. Yeah. So uh, behind so us. Sorry, I'm late. I had to go do some business. No. Hey, this is William right here. William, the the other guy who posts sometimes or makes yeah. comments on our our posts. You gotta speak right into that microphone. Right into the microphone. Yeah, right. I mean, you like, get right to the, it, like give it a suck kiss. on it, like you're gonna give it a kiss, like it's a give straw. It a job, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, Just, oh, we have to. We have to. Don't tell, be afraid. Tell them the rules. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, there are two rules. rules. Three rules. Yes. Like rules. I'm sorry, man. You don't know me very well, do you? Yeah, nope. I know, you know you <laughs> very well. Nobody knows you very well at all. Rules, what the fuck are rules? Oh, know. man. Oh, he just oh, rule, rule number three. Mom. Rule number three, actually. See? <laughs> yeah, he broke, he broke rule number three rule, right there. Man. Yeah, mom's, mom's rule. We don't mom's rule. number three, but he broke rule. That was a mom's rule. I'm sorry, mom. Yeah, thanks, thanks. He didn't know mom. First rule. First rule, you're not allowed to say anyone is stupid for what they said, but you're allowed to say, go on. Second rule is, if somebody says, we can't talk about that, you can't talk about that. Yeah. Third rule is, no using the <coughs> F, F word. And word. The F okay. word, yes. Well, you know, I've been at work. <laughs> Talk into the mic, man. Talk Nobody into the mic. Nobody you. can hear you. Well, you know, I've been at work, okay? When I go to work, things go crazy, and language tends to flow in directions that are uncontrollable. This guy's construction, so uh, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of uh, yeah, you, you know times. That, yeah. Yes, well, and also myself, at this time yeah. of year, it's <laughs> we got the humidity. It's spiked. The humidity has spiked up to those massive levels recently, and it's getting up to 80s, 90s. Nobody's Fairbanks. happy out there in the heat. Oh, I'm happy out there well, in the heat. I, mean, I, I love, love it. Heat, I right? love the heat. The heat, right. is, the heat is wonderful. Yeah, this is too. it's it's freeing. You get to wear a t-shirt and shorts and sandals with no socks on. That is freedom. Yeah. That, that is not freedom. That is not freedom. Then yeah. You only have that option. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why I don't I work with you. Shirts. Man, that's that why thing's you know, unidirectional. Yeah. I, that's I, why. I, I, that's I, why I don't work I'm with you. Pointed at your mouth. I, I'm spiking right there. I, he is I can spiking. See the yeah. Lights. yeah. I'm spiking it. So no, you're right. not. I am. No, that's us. Not that's you. our microphones. Our microphones are not unidirectional. <laughs> no, seriously. Watch it. I am spiking it. Okay. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. Because you're speaking into it now. I'm watching the fucking. Whoa. Man, that's the second one. I'm expelled. Bing, bing, bing. No, no, no. Okay, don't go. Bye-bye. Oh, he didn't know. He didn't know. Where are you going? Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, okay, good. Oh, he's getting his drink. Yeah, i got to get my okay, drink. Okay, so, uh, actually, I, I have a question for Greg. I want to know how he got started here. Hell. Yeah, Greg, yeah. how did you start this place? With a little bit of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a dime. On a dime. On a dime. He started it on a dime, on his own dime. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And his own blood, sweat, and tears. If you haven't seen this place... Um, you gotta just come here because if you've ever read a fantasy novel, this is as close to a fantasy novel in as you get in the real world. It's all wood in here, all wood on the outside. Just let him go on if, with it. Yeah. Go on. Right? <laughs> go on. Yes. <laughs> yes, going on, going on. It's it's and, we it, got and a he pool he table. We got darts and so forth and quite a few other things that go on. It's cozy. Yeah. It's, it's cozy. It's a great place. And really a few cozy. Personalities. Is yeah, we got some crazy little cats around. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah I, I don't know if I said it, but this guy in the end is, is Bill William. William oh, Bill okay. Carsley. We'll, we'll let you run with that. Mm. All right. Which one do you want? Well, you know, actually, I, at work, it's Alan. Okay. And, like, in You've got to speak into the mic. You're, like, in, it wasn't in, in social, social events, it's William. So All right. So, William, William Carsley. William, Car William Allen Carsley. William right. Allen Carsley, because that's not long. <laughs> sounds like, it, sounds like, it sounds like you're trying to beat, uh, what's his name, Woody Allen, for the title of film producer with that William actually, Allen Carsley. If you really want to get technical on this, on the we program, don't. We do. it, it's actually, it's William Allen Carsley Leggett. So Go on. Really <laughs> so we, we just call him Bruce anyway. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Bruce. Bruce. Hey, don't be my devil. Bruce Willis thing. <laughs> so uh, every what every Saturday this place is pretty hopping, but the last Saturday of the month it is just crazy. This place it's pretty big for a place in Japan, and uh, it gets packed. I mean, yeah, shoulder to shoulder. Right. It well, it flows does. into the street. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it does flow into the, into the street. street. We pull out. We pull out the tables over <laughs> here, and we have the live music, and everybody's dancing. Yeah. yeah. Next month we got the six-year anniversary. 
Nice. So please come along. Don't be shy. Yes. Hell yeah. yeah. Six year anniversary. That's yeah. going to be pumping, I'll tell you. Is that next month? Yeah. Yeah, next Sweet. month. Sweet. Next month on the 28th, right? Maybe yeah. we should do a podcast. Yeah, we'll do another podcast. We're going to do another yeah. podcast, and I think we're also doing a, we're um, a secret a project, aren't we? Doing yeah, a we're doing project. a secret project on uh, Saturday. Hopefully, if we can get the people to show up. Top I know secret. William's going to show up. Top secret. Yeah, top secret. Top project. secret. If you, Am if you, I if you, t- secret for me, too? No, you know about it. You're in it. I know it. I'm in it. Oh. Jeez, <laughs> this, this guy. <laughs> See, that's how memo. secret it is. I don't even know. That's how damn secret It was probably last podcast, and I was drinking before it started because everyone was late. Unlike today. No, we early. need that on because this thing's going to go off when we're out of time. Yes, but it just dinged at you when you got a message. We yeah, can't have it be. ringing at you while it's going on. You're going to be able to see it when it goes off. All right. All right. That's fair <laughs> enough. Yeah. Fair enough. So uh, yeah, other yeah, things we're going to talk about. Okay. Uh, I'm, we're just going to bring up some things on the table about Japan and our lives in Japan. I, what, like I said, I wasn't able to write anything on the website or whatnot, but uh, I want to start off with one thing in Japan that you didn't, realize that you would enjoy or realize like for instance um last last time we did the podcast it was about uh uh taking off your shoes when you go into the house like in america and stuff like that you don't uh, not my house no oh well i i love it i love it i love yeah, a clean too. nice yeah. floor and, it means and whatnot you to take care of your foot too you know yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're not yeah. so damn smelly yeah. And stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that, that kind of stuff is pretty cool so we'll, yeah, we'll just like go that. down the line start with anders what can you think of something that that you like about japan that's well uh, i haven't gained a ton of weight like everyone in my family has yeah, become true. like they've gained like twenty pounds since I moved I, since I, I moved like here. I just pounds the first I guess I, I I don't know. I guess I eat better than I used to in America because I did I cooked for myself there, so everything was fatty. So yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fat pig. Yeah, if you saw my father, you'd be like, "How come you aren't like looking like Santa Claus yet?" Because my <laughs> my father looks like Santa Claus, white beard, big old huge belly, the whole works. Yeah, but. Quit uh, talking about me. <laughs> nah, nah, you're you're mostly muscle. No, I well, I lost a lot of weight. Uh, good, uh, good. When I, but when I first came here, I seriously the weight just got in just crazy. Seriously, I, I gained so much weight when I first came to Japan. Were you eating Japanese food, or were you just oh, like, yeah, yeah? Were yeah. you drinking a lot? No. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, no. Oh, really? come on. I wasn't. Well, Maybe you got to drink more than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you own a no, bar. Yeah. So you own a bar. If you don't <laughs> drink, it kind of it's like sacrilegious, Actually, right? Eating, yes. Eating sushi every day, and it was like so when I got. How do you get? How do you get? I'm sorry. How do you gain weight? Eating sushi. Who do, sushi is so rice. freaking helpful. Yeah, like the rice. The rice, really? Rice is a lot of carbohydrates, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Carbohydrates. But, but also, when I first got here, I never paid for a freaking meal. Oh, really? Yeah, I nice. bet. No, no, yeah, everybody's nice. always paying for you, right? My mom would be proud every, of And it was like, everybody wanted to buy me food. So it was like, everywhere I went, I was like eating, eating like three or four meals at dinner time. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's actually pretty common. This is the uh, the senpai syndrome that we were talking yeah. about in a couple of other episodes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Senpai syndrome. Where yeah, I actually ate a lot when I first came, more than I would eat back in the states. You know, and it was, well when it's kind of free, crazy. you know, and it was free, so you know you kind of feel obligated to eat it too, because yep. it's like someone else is buying it for you. All right, so that's my thing is obligation. We have a, a thing in Japan called uh, the gift giving game. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You guys know the gift giving game, say. where you get a gift and say. it's like. It's 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 an obligation to give that person a gift back. It could get something s- s- like seriously stupid down to like you're giving each other pencils and stuff like that. But <laughs> yeah. it, it just never ends. As soon as you get a gift, you're obligated to give that person a gift back, and then they have to Pretty give you much. a gift back, and it just keeps going down until Pretty you know much. you're just Pretty giving much. each other high mm-hmm. fives or yeah. what. Well, that, that's actually how I got so much alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. along yeah, along that gift giving line, I love the tradition of omiyage. I, I've probably talked about this before, but omiyage when you travel somewhere, you bring back a confection or some food product or some piece right. of artwork right. that is in, that is unique to the area that you visited, and you bring it back to your family or your friends or your coworkers. In my case, and I always get uh, I always get the senbei or whatever whatever little pastry treat that they have in this other part of Japan that's unique to that area and I mm-hmm. I bring it back and uh, it's it's very very well appreciated among among the workplace and, and like your students are like when you went on that vacation when I went on that vacation they're they're like, like, they yeah they're like what what oh that's so cool and one of my schools my one of my when I first came to Japan I was in Shizuoka and I was really out in the countryside one school had and I'm not joking eight students that was the whole student body, eight students. When I came to that school, there were more teachers than there were students. So 
I brought Omiyage to that school one day, and I gave it to all the teachers and to all the students. And every time I came back to that school after that, there was Omiyage for me from everybody. And Didn't I one that. of your kids ask you for Omiyage? Um, one of your students is like, oh, bring me o- Omiyage or something. Yeah, like I've that. had students ask me to bring them Omiyage all the time. <laughs> I go, and I went to America, oh, hey, bring wait, me wait, Omiyage. Wait, 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 wait. Anders, you look like you need a beer. I kind of do, yeah. yeah. Uh, Akiko. Akiko. Can you get this guy a beer, please? Can, can we get a beer? <laughs> beer, 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 second beer, 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 beer. Second round's on who? Oh, me. Really nice. <laughs> yeah, third round is on me. Because third time's the charm. Yes. Hell yeah. Well, that's why I brought that. It's kind of like a gift. See, I was in a gift-giving mood tonight. <laughs> you know, it's I, over I, there. I bought a bottle of tequila for my friends so I can share amongst my friends. I'm going to sneak you outside and drink. I mean, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well that, that's what the other bottle's for. <laughs> so so what, several bottles there, yeah. What about you, Craig? What, what, what's your big thing <coughs> that, that you want to... Oh, I like that you can walk down the street and you're not going to get hassled. Mm-hmm. Uh, at night. Any time of the night. The Any chart, time. Yeah, at all. At all. It's, no it's a fantastic. Mm-hmm. Just that peaceful state, you know, like mm-hmm. a, I really appreciate that. That's, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm I've looking had, at yeah. the amount of freedom we have here. Yeah. 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 That, that's yeah. my thing is the freedom. <laughs> you know, you walk out, you, you, you go anywhere in, in Japan, basically, you really don't see a police officer anywhere. Mm. No, no. no that is true. We were talking about patrol. that. We were no talking patrols, about that last. Oh, with no right? patrols. I'll tell you something. This is uh, about cars. There's something that you wouldn't believe. Like in New Zealand, you see one particular vehicle several times within just a half an hour. You don't see them here at all. Huh. And that's tow trucks. Oh yeah, ah, there's yeah, not a lot yeah, of yeah, yeah. That's In America, true. it's a police yeah. officer. Every 20 <laughs> minutes, you see a police car. Oh yeah. yeah here, yeah. You can they go don't a do whole patrols. They just sit in their little Koban right. uh, police they, box they and, and give directions. To, they, they, no, they wait for people to call in mm-hmm. with a problem. And yeah. then they go you out. Yeah. And then they go out and deal with it. It's not like they're not looking well, for. Well, sometimes they come out. Yeah. Ridiculous amount of people come out. Yeah. Well, one guy gets hit here once, and we only had one fight ever here. And uh, five uh, no, police 21 cars, car, 21 policemen turned up, yeah. <laughs> and, and it was just a, a stupid incident. Well, yeah. they got nothing better to they do, got nothing better to do. that's how safe here. it is. Yeah, yeah. 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 True. that's a pretty big event right there, you yeah. know. Yeah, well, yeah. And, and the, the other good thing is, kids can walk to school on their own safely. There's well, too. R- relatively safely. Right. Yeah. Well, well, rel- well, relatively well, better than the states. Yeah. Yeah. Well, also, yeah. here yeah. in yeah. the kids that walk to school in, in Japan, they have these. Uh, they always have the same backpacks, but they've got this thing on their backpack that if they grab it and pull it, it makes this insanely noise, noi- yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, security, annoying security sound. Alarm. Yeah, security alarm. Yeah. Plus, plus the senior citizens volunteer mm. for security. And traffic duty. And, and actually, I, I volunteer actually, in my area, in really, Murakami, yeah. I actually sometimes volunteer in my, my neighborhood. Yeah. Mm. Just go out there and watch the kids as they're coming to and from yep. uh, school and make sure that everything's and safe. Plus, the parents here are much more progressive when it comes to school. Yeah, schooling. You know, they, they, they so, get yeah. involved in yeah. in all the uh, curriculum. Well, I don't know that we can call them proactive. Right, yeah. I can't say that they're progressive. I think the parents can be a bit conservative in like their viewpoints, but they are far more proactive are and far more involved in yeah. their yeah. child's proactive education. Would right proactive would be yeah. a better. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's cool. yeah, they're far yeah. more proactive. Yeah, they go to their well. Uh, you know the mothers do. Yeah, the mothers. Well, I always see. Too. No, I see some. Around, yeah. I see some fathers, yeah. but usually it's always the mother going to whatever it is. Yeah. Usually the fathers, you know, a salary man. Well, yeah, you see them, like, You see them occasionally when it yeah. sports events and stuff. Mm. Like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Especially for their teen kids. Right. <laughs> like if they get teen sons or something like that in some sort of sports or. Oh, they're whatnot. out there in a force. Yeah. They're out yeah. there in force. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean. Yeah. It, it, I mean, we have that in, in the states too yeah, for major shiki. sports yeah. stuff. But you know, another a, along the, along the lines of the police hey, that shiki. we were just talking about, <laughs> <laughs> along the lines of the police thing we were talking about, if you do turn <laughs> something into the police, and I've turned in wallets, I've turned in cell phones, I've that, turned that's in the other good thing. yeah, <laughs> everybody everybody will turn. If you lose something, odds are somebody's going to turn it into the nearest police station or the nearest yeah. lost and okay. found. Okay, raise but, your hand if you've had something returned to you that you've lost. I don't lose <laughs> my stuff. Yeah, well, okay, us three guys, the guys in Smash guys. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I pay attention to my surroundings. I had a, I have a friend of mine on Facebook. Uh, somebody knocked over his bicycle and broke the uh, the bell on it, and put his bicycle oh, back yeah, up. Yeah. Wrote him a note and then put a thousand yen note in there, saying, "I'm terribly sorry. I knocked over your bike and broke the bell. Here's a thousand yen. Get a new bell." Yeah. 
and oh, that's that, that's what will happen that, in that Japan. There is, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a very very courteous, very very polite society, and that's that's to its credit right there. That yeah. is one of the that is one of the best things about Japan. But when I've turned something in, or been been one of the people to report something, I have always 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 gotten a phone call from the person whose stuff I turned in, and from the police officer at the police station to say thank you for doing that. And yeah, that's always been yeah. very, very cool. And one guy, um, he dropped his wallet as he was walking into his car or walking away from his car to go into a store. And I g picked up his wallet and chased after him. Hey, you dropped your wallet. Hey, you dropped your wallet. And after he realized he had dropped his wallet, he said thank you to me several times, bowed and pulled some money out and just shoved it at me. He said, oh, you know, you must take it. You must take it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. Yeah, well, that's... Typical here, though. Yeah. Well, that yeah, is typical. Yeah, very typical. It's, it's very. Yeah. I mean, it was nice for me. I, I needed. I found a wallet once, and the, and the guy mm. it had no cash in it, but it had an immense amount of credit cards and so. Oh forth. dear. I took it to the police station. Mm -hmm. I was there in the police station for two bloody hours, so, mm. you know, mm. getting interrogated just about. Mm. But at the same time, the next day later or two days later, it was mm. the guy turned up with this incredibly good, delicious cake. Mm. Saying thank you very much. <laughs> wow. Right on. I can't say that all my uh, experiences with the police have been rosy, but uh, I remember this one instance where I was at uh, a bar. Okay, they just cannot drive here. That's <laughs> they cannot. <laughs> I, was at, I was at the hot spot, mm -hmm. and uh, there was like this, this guy that I had just met and this girl that I had just met, mm -hmm. and uh, the guy got in a fight with some other foreigner guy from like Pakistan or something like that, and uh, I was up. I was up in the, the uh, car park, and I saw this happening. I came down, and I'm the only person that could speak Japanese and English. So the cops are like, hey, come over here. You know, you're going to translate for us. I'm like, well, well I, I'm not a part of this. They're like, no, but you speak English and Japanese, so help us out. And I'm like, oh, okay. And we're going to take you to the police station. And I'm like, oh, no, I don't I, no, you know. And, and I didn't really have a choice. They're like, okay, you're coming. Really? And just kind of dragged me along. They took me. I'm like... Look, I, I, it's cold out here. I don't want to come back, walk back. And like, oh no, don't worry about it. We'll we'll bring you back. And oh, okay, fine. You know, and I go there and I translate for them, get their story and whatnot. And and then we're leaving, and the cop, he the same cop who brought me there, he's like, uh, oh, so yeah, you can get home, back to your car, right? Okay, cool. See ya. And he just <laughs> like, that, and I'm like, what the hell, right? So yeah, not not every time rosy, but you know. Nah, nah. But it's better than most places, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they didn't try to lock me up for yeah. just being there. Or just beat yeah. me up. Yeah, yeah, just beat me up. Guilty <laughs> yeah. by association. Yeah, uh, and that is a problem with the police here. I, I've heard of it. I've I've read about it, but... Uh, it, it is here, actually. Yeah, yeah. it is. You, you can be proven guilty by association alone. Yes, I know. Well, yeah. they have like and a 99% like conviction rate or something like that? Not quite that no, high no, up not there. Not, not, not but it's like... High, yeah, but they but they they will beat... They will beat a... Right? You confession can't, you can't say that. They won't. It's because when well, you say that, it's a blanket statement. Okay. Well, they will. They, they will. Can. They will. They will. They have been known you harshly. to. They, will they have been you known to interrogate people very harshly. Right. Because you can't, you know, blanket all cops like yeah. that. I mean, some yeah. places aren't. No, they're like usually that. pretty cool. I mean, I actually have taught they, police officers. They will officers. hold you for seventy-two hours. They can. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, can. Yeah. They can hold you for, for up to twenty-eight days. No reason. Yeah, that's okay. true. You know, you know why I never want to become a Japanese national. Uh, why? Because you, you know you have to. If you're out there, you have to have your gaijin uh, native or not yeah, yeah, gaijin yeah. your resident card yeah, or whatnot yeah, on yeah, you. Yeah. Yep. If the police stop you, you have to show it to them. Yeah, yeah. Yep. If you don't show it to them, they can take you downtown. Yes. Yep. Right now, imagine if you're Japanese. You've sworn in your Japanese, and then you're out walking, and some cop stops you, and it's like. Uh, show me your your uh, resident card. Mm. You're like, no, I'm Japanese. They're like, yeah, right. Yeah, you're yeah. coming with me, man. Let's go downtown. There's, there's no way you could prove to them that you're Japanese. Well, if you have your driver's license, they can check. Yeah, they probably could. Mm. Well, the, no, but the driver's license doesn't say that um, your no, status. But, but, yeah, but it what would, it does yeah. is, though, is they can run the number. And your status is, comes up on the computer. Oh, does it? Well, will I, they will, I didn't they, will they go that far? Yeah, will, will they, they go that far? Will they go like, that far? <laughs> they, oh, you don't have your. You up. We're, uh, we're just you, trying to get this I, I foreigner what, off the I, street I, I here. Teach, yeah. I teach uh, hmm. Aikido and kickboxing to many of the police officers here in Niigata Ken, hmm. uh, and many of them are my best friends. I know many of them, hmm. and the procedures here can be quite harsh. But when it comes to proving your nationality, at all, it, it really is not that difficult. You know, yes, you do have to carry ID, 
you don't really have to carry your your uh, registration card as long as you have your driver's license. Oh, I didn't know that. That's mm. cool. Can I get a beer, please? Oh. Well, that's a lot of dead air. Go on. Sorry, sorry, yeah. my bad. Yeah, he was I was getting, getting a beer. A beer. Sorry, getting that's a beer. important yeah. stuff right there, getting yeah. a beer, right? Getting a beer, yeah, well, that's I what we do. That's the most important. <laughs> that's the most important thing, yes. <laughs> okay, like here, drinker, what, what is that, is Craig? This, this, this is milk thistle. Now, I don't know if you guys know about milk thistle, but milk thistle is the best thing for liver cleansing. Really? It really is. It's leather fantastic. cleansing? Liver. 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 Oh, liver <laughs> cleansing. <laughs> I'm like, what? That's my accent. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with your accent? This guy needs to clean out his ears. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> but milk thistle's fantastic. And you can take some milk thistle before you get on the beers. Mm. Or mm. you can take it in the morning and cleanse yourself out. Or before you go to bed, um, have a, one little mm. capsule of milk thistle. Mm. And then drink a, a, a bit of water. Mm. And it'll clean you out. How much for one of those bottles of milk thistle? Now hold it up to the camera. The camera can't see that. Yeah, there you, there you go. That's that. milk thistle. <laughs> this is amazing stuff. I swear by this stuff, I mm. tell you. And it's helped me out so many times. It's, it's called milk cool. thistle. Yeah. Thank how, you. How, much for, how much for that bottle? Yeah, how much is that? Oh, I'm not quite sure the, the price has gone. It's usually around about 800 yen. Mm. 800, 800, 800 yen. 800 yen. But That's it, not it, that it's, bad. It's, oh. it's got how many capsules? 60 capsules. You 60 capsules. You only need, you know... One, one capsule. One capsule. Yeah, wow. One capsule. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be fine. And I've done this. I, I've given this over to many customers saying, here, try this. Next day later, thanks, man. That saved my ass. Next <laughs> day later. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, hey, guys, another thing that we got here is this. Uh, okay, this is mine. This is called is this? VAM. This is called VAM. It stands for Vespo Amino Acid Mixture. And if you're, if you're an energy or fitness person, you might have heard of Hornet Juice. But this is where it comes from. In Japan, we have... A insect called a Suzume Bachi, which is a oh, giant yeah. hornet, yeah, which yeah. is it's larger like than big. Yes, yeah, yeah, it is yeah. larger than any insect with a stinger has a right to get. And it can fly <laughs> eh, it can fly at 40, 50 kilometers an hour. So that's 30 miles an hour. Faster than you can run, or and almost as fast as you can good run. Eating as well. They are good eating, I'm told. I haven't tried them yet myself, but I will. But and they also have almost deadly venom, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's they not sting you in the face. Uh, if they, they sting you, it's sunburn. it's a uh, it's like a rattlesnake yeah, venom. It will eat your skin. Really? If you get a yeah. massive swarm, yeah, you can real die. Big ones. Really? We, wait, wait. Uh, yeah. yeah, guys, Sam and I, we took a nest down. Oh wow! Use the mic. Use the mic. Yeah, well, when when I was building in uh, Nagaoka, we were uh, pulling down an old building and putting a new one in place, and there was a hornet's nest there, and it was just amazing. These things were about that damn big, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they stung us several times. But Seriously? It, yeah, but did nothing to us. We thought, oh, well, we're fine, and we just kept on going and got rid of them. Wow. Uh, lucky. Lucky. You got lucky. Well, yeah. I guess it's just like any it bee or anything like that. It could have been a different part of the year where they well, those know. bees mm. hunt other bees. Yeah, yeah, yes, they, they do. They do hunt that. other bees. Yeah. They do they hunt kill other birds. Bees. They kill birds. They, yeah, they're 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 nasty. But um, the adults don't actually eat anything that they kill. They bring it back to the larvae and feed it to the larva, and then the larva regurgitate um, a jelly that the adults eat, and the jelly contains this VAM Vespa amino acid mixture. And it gives you an energy boost. And honest to God, if you drink this, you will feel a bump in your energy. I thought it was. That's I thought it was BS. That's why there's a little hot uh, bee yeah, thing on there. Yeah, it is made. It is made with. It is the made hornet. with the hornets, and it's actually. It's pretty good. This is actually grapefruit flavor. They have it a couple of oh, other flavors, but the main flavor is grapefruit. Is this grapefruit flavor? It is grapefruit I'm flavor. I'm done. I'm not drinking that. Oh, it's not, poor it's baby. It's a sweet grapefruit. It's a sweet grapefruit. I'm sorry. No, I cannot do grapefruit. I can't do it. Oh, you really can't? Yeah, seriously. Well, I like grapefruit. Yeah. Yeah, that'll make no. me gag. Grapefruit, grapefruit I, have other, uh, I have other flavors that I prefer, but yeah, it's good stuff. You drink it. Chew high, man. That's the one. Yeah, oh, no, no. I'm actually not a fan of grapefruit myself, but I do like the VAM because it just keeps me... Bad. Anything uh, grapefruit flavor good. just well, kills really me. Grapefruit taste. It's good. It has two things. Good like in Japan, whiskey is the big thing. Mm. Everywhere they yeah. sell whiskey, whiskey, whiskey this, guy. whiskey that. You're a whiskey guy. I'm a whiskey guy. I, I cannot beer. do whiskey. Don't drink beer. Yeah, yeah. I can't do whiskey. Yeah, I, I do it occasionally, yeah. but it, it's not. Uh, it's not one of my loves in life. You know? <laughs> I, 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 can, I can clean a bottle in, in a couple hours, easy. Um, yeah, I, mean, still, I, mean, I mean, still walk home straight. I like if whiskey. you go if you go tequila, you know I, I'm right with you with tequila, oh, but uh, whiskey, like water, I love yeah, it. I love it. Oh, but <laughs> come on, tequila is like a freight train. 
It when it hits you, oh my god! It's oh, yeah. slow, but when it hits you, ouch! God, I, I, I can tell you a story of the first time I had tequila. Oh, right? please and do! I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> Mine was wild turkey. So oh my! Yeah, oh, I remember the first time I went. I was 21. And I was drinking it legally for the first time at a bar in the United States. Had a margarita. Well, that was really good. Let me have another one. Go on. oh, that was really good. Let me have yeah, another go on. one. Go on. I'm getting through my fourth margarita. Oh go shoot! On. Oh man. One tequila, two tequila, three tequila, floor. Yeah. <laughs> One tequila, two tequila, three tequila, floor. A whole bottle floor. of 1800, and I'm still walking straight. Well, you're a pretty big guy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. I'm, I'm like a, a third your size. And I'm right. half <coughs> I'm his size. Oh, well, less than that. <laughs> his size. I'm close to his size. <laughs> <laughs> shorter. <laughs> a little shorter. I'm not that big. Come on, now. I'm only 100k. 100k. Yeah, well, I'm, ni- I'm actually 89 now. 89k. Really? I was 94 not too long ago. Really? Mm, is this a confessional or is this Gaijin Smash? Right this now? is Gaijin, Gaijin Smash. Smash. Yeah. Confessional. All right. Well, it's both. Let's talk about something else. We got strawberries. These are on. Um, I was. I was hoping I could get the Niigata strawberries, but these are not Niigata. These are from uh, Tochigi. These are Tochio Tome strawberries and. I had strawberries in the United States when I was last there in the spring, and the comparison was shocking to me. American strawberries were very, very sour. These are very sweet. Oh, yeah. The Japanese strawberries are really, really good. So, oh, they are. They're lovely. Let's mm. break them open. Absolutely Who wants some delicious. strawberries? Oh, yeah. That's my uh, fiance's job is growing strawberries. Oh, is it? Yes. Have some. Have is that some. What she does? Yeah, all, she does. She otome strawberries. They're I all my neighbors. I don't know if you like the fact that I'm eating strawberries that aren't from Niigata, <laughs> though. Uh oh, traitor! Yeah, you're a traitor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, Anders's fiance. Oh, yeah. Um, I I tried. The Ikumi. sign said. Ikumi. The sign yeah, said. Ikumi. Why did I say Aya? I don't know. Delicious. The sign, because that was the other lady who came on the podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Her, her, yeah. her name wasn't uh, Aya. Yeah, the first podcast. Yeah, yes. Aya. Yeah. 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 Mocha. There was a, um, a documentary on strawberries. Um, basically, mm. uh, it was about uh, Alzheimer's. Mm. And people who were um, at the beginning of Alzheimer's could not uh, taste strawberries. That was one of the first indicators. Really? Yeah. Really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be eating a lot yeah, more strawberries no when I get older. <laughs> right? You're like, can, does it still taste like a strawberry? Yep, okay, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no matter what I'm going to say, it still tastes like a strawberry. Yeah, right. right. I guess if you had Alzheimer's, you'd be like, What's people, you, you'd eat it and they'd be like, can you uh, tell me, Does do, do you taste that? You'd be like, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, what? It's like strawberry? Yes, please. Who are you? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's see. What else? What we, Car, uh, uh, William. Uh, uh, who? William, what is what is the thing that you like about Japan? Bruce. <laughs> Bruce. Man. Man. Just, uh... Really? Actually, no. I thought Don't, it would be woman. Man, not within arm's reach. <laughs> <laughs> not within <laughs> arm's reach. <laughs> so, you know, really, seriously, just basic freedom. Yeah, just basic freedom. Oh, yeah, yeah you, you, you are out of turn on that one. Uh, so that's I'm why. telling you, man. Seriously. This is the only place where you feel comfortable stripping down naked, running down the street with a bottle of I don't of feel comfortable. Oh, well, who's and, that guy from SMAP that did all that? The, all they're going to oh, do yeah, yeah. is bring you a blanket <laughs> and take you home. They don't arrest you. They don't put They, you they do if you're from SMAP. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Do you guys remember that, that guy from SMAP nope. who, who uh, got really drunk? Went all naked down in like Yoyogi Park or something like that. I don't know if it was Yoyogi, but uh, some park in in Roppongi, and just like running around all naked, like ah! Really? And then and uh, they they caught him, took him downtown, and and uh, all of his commercials and whatnot. He was dropped from all of his contracts. Oh really? Yeah, for like six months, and then six I months know. later, it's like everybody just yeah. forgot. Right, right, and right. and now he's well, you know they do have a very short attention span here yeah right and tunnel vision and tunnel vision <laughs> it's like <laughs> when, when it comes to the idols and stuff like that oh guys did you hear about the uh, the AKB forty uh, eight uh, incident recently oh yeah with the no, guy with the saw yeah yeah so yeah. like uh, AKB forty eight there there's forty eight girls uh, who do music and whatnot but uh, the big thing about them is. They do meet and greets where, like, you can shake their hands and stuff, and uh, for money, for for money, of course, you 
you buy a CD oh, yeah. or Everything you pay money. Costs money here. Yeah, of course. But you can actually meet them. Mm. And uh, at one of these meet and greets, two of the girls were there, and this guy just comes out of nowhere with this like foldable saw and just whacks them like in the head and, and really and uh, yeah, he he messed them up. He yeah, was, like, messed them up. Broken good. bones and stuff. Oh yeah. shit! So, really? I didn't hear about yeah. that. Yeah, and uh, wow. it's like now all of a sudden everybody's like, oh shit! I guess we're in- Excuse me. Yeah, I'm, see, sorry, Mom. I, I'm not the only one. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> they're probably not going to be doing that anymore, or they're going to really change the way they do it. I, that, that was, I think that was that was kind of a that was a thing, freak, was a freak yeah, that was, that thing, right? That must have been a freak thing because yeah, but think, the point like is that this happen. guy got in there with a saw, right? a foldable saw. How did he do that, right? right? And well, then that, how did he get so close to them with this thing, and then the security people didn't, you know, right? Stop him! I wasn't there. That's why. That's yeah. why. That's they they got be. him qu- pretty quick, though. But I mean, it doesn't take that long to like. Yeah, it's no, just no, one right. swipe. You can. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you get arrested real quick here if you commit a crime. And yeah. this is the weird thing about Japan. They always all the people who are arrested for stuff. They always give a reason why they did it, right? right? Like in in the states, it'd be like somebody did this, and we don't know the reason. But in Japan, it's like somebody did this, and he said or she said it's because whatever. And this guy's reason was. He just wanted to commit random murder. Nice. Yeah. That's that's well, what nice. that, that happened. Like the guy that rented a car. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. He rented oh, a car because uh, he wanted to kill people. Yeah, that was in Akihabara, right? I, yeah. I, uh, no, that was, yeah. that was a truck incident. You know, I, yeah, I, recent I'm one. Thinking, yeah. more I'm recent thinking one. it has a lot one, to do yeah. with the economy. You know, I heard a lot of lot of lot of older older gentlemen, like in their seventies or whatnot, mm-hmm. lately because they can't afford they can't work and they can't afford to to pay their bills. They just just like throw their hands up and kind of give up, oh. and then I've seen that happen go, actually. Go out and commit a crime and get incarcerated, so they they have a, a place to sleep in. Yeah, but they don't try to kill people. I well, mean, they, right? They, you're this, right, but it's like seriously, th- that mentality has kind of came up in the in recent. Well, they blame everybody the else. Yeah, I mean, no, I think I think it was always around. It's just that now it's so much more publici- well, actually, pub- yeah, publicized, yeah. right? Su- and it's also suicides more visible. Are actually, a little bit more. Well, no, no, I think suicides are about the same. No, there's the, between between uh, what? Well, okay, per capita, per capita, because obviously, you know, in Japan, every year there's about thirty thousand people that commit suicide between the months of what January to February. March and May. Between March and May? Why would it be between March and May? If it was well, the winter season, it, I would understand. But between it, it, March and it, May? It's, it's, it's April. No, isn't it April? Just through the winter. That's yeah. the April's the, the start of the new year. Would, the fiscal year. Right. Winter, you know? yeah. Yeah. It's like there's three months between March and, and May. April right in the middle. Huh. Yeah. Because well, a- it's April... In the, it's in that time is when... They have to pay spikes. their taxes. Well, you know, you know that most people die in Japan. Most people seem to die on the, the fourth of the month. Really? Right? Yeah, because it's she, yeah, and she is like shinde or die or death. Right. And okay. so it's like it's like a psychological thing for some reason. It's also my number for some well, you know, suicide, no suicide is legal here. You know that, right? Suicide's yeah. legal. Yeah. Well, I, suicide I, I, is, legal is, is there country. a place that's not legal? America? It's not illegal. In Amer- America it's illegal in America. It's against the law. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How do you stop? Uh, what? It's murder, man. Ba- basically, <laughs> in the states, if you if you if it's like, oh, he's dead. Let's put him on trial. We will arrest the bastard. If you succeed, then. So good. But if yeah. you don't succeed, you end up in prison. Or, or a prisoner. Oh, you that's, know, they, that's yeah, just what you need to do yeah. to somebody right? who is like right? ready to Mentally, off themselves. Yeah, just right? put them in prison, they, right? Because that will really fix them up. Too. They put them on. They put them on suicide watch, as I heard. Yeah, they but they, to a they, hospital they, or institution. one of the reasons why it'd be illegal also would be because of the insurance. You know. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, if you got if if you commit suicide, then basically. Uh, you're gonna or, or the benefactors of your will. Yeah, you don't get to receive it. the. No insurance. It'd be like, oh yeah, please go ahead, kill yourself because as soon as you kill yourself, all of your insurance is null and void. Yeah, yeah. that's right. But is that is that the case here in Japan? No, no, uh, no it's I don't not illegal. So. Well, yeah, I, I mean, if if you can prove that uh, the the suicide was caused by mental anguish from something. And and you can well, prove it I've with had, with I a reasonable doubt. I would think without a reasonable that would be doubt. pretty easy to prove. Yeah, really? right. Since yeah. you killed yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I mean. Right. But Jeez. no, seriously, <laughs> I've had two employers that committed suicide because of financial reasons. Employers. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's employers. Yeah, yeah. You know? mm-hmm. I've like, seen. I've heard of that. You know, the, we're waiting for our bosses to show up at work one day, 
and he never showed up. We called his house. He never showed up. Secretary went to the house and found him sitting on his couch. Dead. 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 You know? Jeez. And it was like, blew everybody's brains Actually, out. I've so had... It was like crazy. Yeah, I've had you two know? friends that killed themselves in the last four years. Right? In the last four years. Wow. Yeah. In Japan. <laughs> yeah. One of the, we, I play softball. Mm-hmm. One of the guys on my softball <laughs> team just offed himself like three years ago. Jeez. It was Why? the year we won, too. Really? I don't know. Yeah. And, well, and, and I mean, the thing is, everyone's like, oh, yeah, whatever. You know, I go to the next... We have, uh, you know, uh, Shinenkai at the beginning of the year. Mm-hmm. And I go to the Shinenkai. He's not there. So I ask someone where he is. And he's like, you didn't know? I'm like, obviously not. You know, he's like, uh, he's, he killed himself. I'm like, what? And, like, and I was like, and, I was, and they just like laughed it off. They're like, yeah, he was a sick guy. I'm like, what? Right. And, and so and it's like, just say, they just say, oh, he was, he was a great first right? baseman, too. I mean, that's right. what, yeah. He was well, like, you know, you can't really <laughs> give too, too much, you know, attention to people who off themselves because then the next guy who's thinking about, you know, often himself, he's going to be like, oh, yeah, when I die, oh, wait, everybody's going to be talking talk about it. Yeah, me, but right? they won't be around to see it. That's the yeah. thing that doesn't make yeah, sense. Yeah, but it's their, I, the idea that when they're gone, they're going to have this publicity or this attention that they can't I want it enjoy, now. but... <laughs> Yeah, well, well, you. Yeah. yeah. We're talking about yeah. people who are, yeah, okay. you know, crazy. Yeah, I mean, seriously. Well, I, no, I, 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 I mean, it, well, obviously, depressed. there's something wrong. Yeah, there's something wrong. But, and, yeah. and then another guy was just, he had, like, he was sick and couldn't work. Right. So he, he offed himself in his parents' right. garage for some wow. reason. But, yeah, and that's, right. and that just sucks. I mean, he was a great, he was the guy that used to give me dart uh, flights. <laughs> Dart flights? What? Yeah. The, 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 flights, uh, the, uh, the the uh, the 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 veins on the dart that make it stable when you throw yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They're called oh, they're the flights. Yeah. So you see me. He was he was just an awesome guy. I call them tails know. or fletchings. Fletchings or fletching is for an arrow for a bow and arrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's it's same close thing, enough. Right? It's it's no, the same it's not. same <laughs> kind of thing. But we're talking about a guy who killed himself, man. Right. I'm sorry, my bad. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. He was a good guy, man. But you know, that suicide is here is. Kind of acceptable in a way. Yeah, it is. It is. It's I think similar. it's just like it's such a ingrained part of the the Japanese culture that yeah. it's just like well, now. The, and the, all the, main, that. the main one is uh, like old old gentlemen will take a hike in the mountains and just not come back. Yeah, they they've got Aoki like mountains. Aokigahara. It's yeah. Aokigahara near Mount Fuji in Yamanashi that has. It's like the that haunted forest. That yeah, haunted yeah, the yeah. quote haunted. Lots forest. of people died Lots there. Lots of people just themselves. wander out into the forest and they don't come back. I mean, I've been to that forest. It, uh, it's beautiful forest. It's an absolutely beautiful forest, but it has that dark element to it because. People, Where's the video for that man? I haven't made it yet. Do you have the video? I don't have the video actually. Oh, it was a friend of mine who came to visit me. Actually, it was Graham who was on the first podcast, he came and I took him to Yamanashi. We went out in that forest and enjoyed going. You're going to have to go there again. Well, well, I'm definitely going to have to go there again. But the problem... I want to go ghost hunting. Yeah, you want to go ghost... Here's the thing about that forest. That forest... You you want to go to that forest. It looks like Fangorn Forest from The Lord of the Rings. Honest to God, it looks like Fangorn Forest. It looks like Fangorn Forest. So if you want to have a Lord of the Rings experience... Yeah, I've never been there. It's really cool. It's a really cool forest. So... You know, I don't want to go to that forest because it's where people commit suicide. I want to go there because it looks like Fangorn Forest. I want to go reenact <laughs> the Lord of the Rings. I want to go reenact Lord of the Rings. Well, why don't you go to New Zealand where this guy's from? Yeah. yeah. Because I'm That's here in Japan. It. it would cost. <laughs> yeah, going oh, to it's the, not that far. Come on. You want it to pay, that is no not traveling on it. Well, not yet it isn't, but we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> well, if you do go to New Zealand. Well, there's, there's not if. Not right if. Place. Okay. Nice. Not if, when. Yeah, okay. When. Yeah, right. When I go to New Zealand. And then you can go walk I through I Mordor. Friends. We used to do all of us <laughs> yeah. years ago. Yeah. If we had friends wanting to stay at other places, you know, yeah. many different people yeah, yeah. all around New Zealand, uh-huh. a person would just phone and say, hey, i got another friend coming. Can you put him up for the night? Yeah, no problem. Nice. And that's what we did for many years. You know? that, that's, that's a culture we need to bring back. Cou- that is a culture. Yeah. Couch <laughs> Well, we have couchsurfing.org. Yeah, this, and if you this is couch friends. This, this yeah. is not, yeah, couch yeah. surfing is different. Yeah. This is couch. Well, this was before there was couch surfing. This is couch surfing before there was couchsurfing.org in the internet. But if you're traveling in Japan, and I did just burp into the microphone right there, that was delicious. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> if you want to travel around Japan, one way you can do it cheaply is couch surfing. It is honestly one of the best places to go couch surfing here in Japan. I love it. Okay, real quick, I'm going to interrupt this thing. I just yeah. want to let you guys know that uh, uh, we we need your help real quick. Uh, in order for us to do anything or make it anywhere with these podcasts and get more guests on the show and do crazy cool things. Push the do, like button. 
Uh, yeah, push the like button. Also yeah, on come iTunes, on. push the like button. Click, 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 the click the like button. Click, click the like button. Whatever. Yeah, but on iTunes, them, right? if you leave us a five star <laughs> review, that is the most helpful thing that we could ask for. Give us a five star review on on iTunes mm. and just say, hey, these guys are crazy cool, or they're stupid, but I like them. Whatever right? you feel like. But uh, <laughs> or lend us your Facebook status for five minutes. Just share us on your Facebook. Yeah, share. Yeah, just that's just right. push, push the share yeah. button. And it'll take yeah. you the three seconds. Yeah. Click, click that the share button. Give me three oh, seconds, and then we'll be able to keep bringing you the funny you know, or a lot of interesting. People or people can't spare three seconds of their busy schedule. Yeah, that's pretty tough, right? right? Yeah, yeah. three I'm seconds. Got it so hard. Okay. And, and you're just sitting there with the thumbs like. Uh, uh, but I a can't lot of Japanese it. people I can't, can't do it. I did it. It'll take you. It'll take you less time to share this podcast on your Facebook than it will take for me to eat this strawberry. Let's see. Right. You're too late. Log in. Ah, uh, man. You, no, come on now. I'm you, not you, just, you have a, you have a code to what get you in. You just said because you didn't give me a chance. Yeah, you have, you have a code? Yeah. Is that like soft? When, when you. That's not soft okay, this, this is the thing. When I had to update my phone, mm -hmm. and as soon as I updated it, the iTunes or I, iOS or whatever it's called, mm -hmm. 7.1, whatever, it put a code on my phone. I didn't have a choice. It didn't give me a choice to not have a code. Really? Yeah. Have you updated your phone? I have never updated yeah, anything. See, I haven't why. updated my phone either. Yeah, yeah, so I updated my phone just a couple of days ago, and the damn really? thing's damn more sensitive than it ever was before. You know, really, just I'd touch it and it comes up with a movie or whatever straight away <laughs> on Facebook, or whatever. Oh man, holy, I don't like. Wait, it. is that i no. is that an iPhone? Yeah, it's an iPhone. Oh jeez, yeah. man, I, I swear, I, my, I've got I me a, a throw it, but I don't update it. Yeah, I I, <laughs> I swear to these i i os uh, updates every friggin' time. Okay, the first the update I did. All my oh. pictures that I had for people who I took, uh, I have their uh, telephone numbers in here, right? Yeah. And then I take pictures of them and put them on the, the telephone number. Well, it's mixed them all up. So every, <laughs> Oh, no. It, it'll come up, it'll be like Brian, and it'll have Craig's face or something like that, right? Oh, I'm no. Like, what the hell is this? And then uh, another... Bastard. <laughs> it's like every freaking update they do. Hey, if I look as do. good as you at, 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 at your age, Craig, I'll be very happy. How old are you, Craig? I almost old gave enough. away old, old enough. enough. Yeah, I almost gave away your age. Oh, whatever. This, this, this. I actually believe life is now. You know, life is, life now. is now, and, yep. and I don't life believe in age. I mean, I mean, really, realistically speaking, if we go down on time and you look at time, what is it? I mean, sixty minutes. Hmm. Oh, 60, uh, one, one hour, yeah. 60, 60 minutes, minutes, right? Six, one minute is 60 seconds. And what is a second? A second is... All uh, right, come on, come on, come on over here. Well, Join us. Someone's going to twist her arm, but she's like, no, I'm too shy. Yeah, get oh, on, come on over. Come we, on. Got a, we, got a, we got somebody else coming yeah. on the podcast. Jump in here. How you doing? Who, who is this? Good. Hello, I'm Jana. Hello, I'm Jana. Jana. Welcome to Gaijin Smash. Oh, thank you. Where <laughs> are you from? I'm from the United States. Where? Seattle. Oh, Seattle. Seattle. I'm sorry. West Coast. Hello, Seattle. <laughs> I'm from I am Arizona. A manta ray. I'm yeah, it's pretty hot there, right? <laughs> hey, aren't the police suing see at the Seattle and the, the the State Department so they can like still beat people? I Isn't that, that that's like the latest so. case? Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm pretty sure I think I read that today. That's probably somewhere in the south. No, no, it was <laughs> yeah, Seattle. It was Texas. it was definitely Seattle. Arizona. It was Texas. definitely <laughs> Seattle. <laughs> it was definitely Seattle. <laughs> Yeah, they're suing. They're suing like so they can still beat the crap out of people because it's against their constitutional rights or something. Because, I mean, police are only... She doesn't know. She yeah, lives in Japan. She lives in Japan. We need no, to get back. Was cool. We need to I mean, come I back to Japan. Hey, Jenna, I got a question for you. Yeah. Uh, what in Japan do you like? What cultural thing uh, surprises you or you think is really cool? Like, I, I talk about how taking your shoes off in, in the house is, is pretty cool and, and whatnot. What, what do you think? What's the cool thing about Japan that you like? <laughs> I definitely adopted the shoe thing, even when I went back to the United States. Yep. I had that rule in my apartment. Right. It's um, a great rule, isn't it? It yeah. really is. Yeah. It is it's a great rule. I didn't have to clean nearly as much. <laughs> 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 and I got the money back on the deposit. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, right? yeah, that was really nice. Um, Other than that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, the great thing about Japan, I rather like... Smaranai? Smaranai mono desu ga. Okay, so when boring go, things. When you go and visit someone's house, you bring a gift. Mm. Oh, and okay. You say when you give it to them, Smaranai mono desu ga. Yeah, it's, it's boring, boring, but. Thing, but. 
Right. So when you visit somebody's house, it's it's ideal mm-hmm. to like bring an omiyage mm-hmm. yeah. to bring or a gift. gift or something like that. Yeah. Right. And I, really, I really like that. <laughs> it's it's not a it's not a very good thing, but here you are anyway, right? It, it should be. Un- it sucks, but here you are. I brought you something. It right. should be done for the bars too. You know, every time you come to the bar, you <laughs> bring me bring a gift, bring guys. something to Craig, right? <laughs> Well, I, I brought you. A, <laughs> I brought a gift. Smart and I mono this car. Kero. This ga. This ga. Watashi ga. Watashi. Oh. What? So me. I, I, I give you me. <laughs> it's it's a boring thing, but here I am. He wasn't talking about sex, but you're dirty mind. Dude. Actually, this is the first female gaijin that's been on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're the, the first, first female. female you're, you're the first uh, uh, female gaijin. So congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. Thank no you. Yeah. Problem. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> so what do you think of what? What do you think of the word gaijin? Um, it's actually a rather rude word. Ooh, so she's a yeah, yeah, yeah it's rude. Just one of the, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you're supposed to say gaikokujin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but they Speak closer to the mic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they shorten it, and it's it's kind of like saying, oh, hey, that outside person. Yes, which I like. But anyway, this show is called Gaijin Smash. Yeah, I know I know the term. I have done it myself. <laughs> 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 uh, on the train or what, what other? What is yeah, do tell. Yeah, give, us a, give us a story. Give us an example, story of Gaijin Smash. Uh, the First time, I guess it was in a train station, and uh, I did yeah. not have <coughs> the correct amount of money in my right. Suica. And which I is a train, which is an electronic debiting pass to pay for the train train journey. Mm. Right, and I hit it on the thing, but I was going, and it was like beep beep red, and I was like, "What? No!" Through, mm. <laughs> and just kept walking, and then the train man was like, "Hey, hey, Japanese, 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 you need to stop." <laughs> And pay, and I was like, I don't what? speak Japanese. Train, gotta go, run. Really? Oh. Nice. And they just let you go? They just let me go because yeah. I was like, I don't speak Japanese. That's a gaijin and smash. That, that is like, a gaijin oh smash for yeah. sure. Yeah. Definitely, yeah, that's definitely a gaijin yeah. smash. That's usually what. Ha- well, you know, Japanese people do that too. Oh yeah, they, they yeah, do. yeah. yeah but they don't get away with it as well as gaijins do. Oh, I beg to differ. Really? I beg to differ. When well, I you was know, Japanese has this society and cultural norm where it's like you don't want to you don't want to disadvantage anyone or put anyone in a position that they will lose face, right? Mm-hmm. So they'll just like the be like, oh, all right, go ahead. You know, yeah. it's not a big deal, anyways. Do you really want to go through all the hassle? Be like, for that whatever it might be, five hundred yen. At or something like that. It's like we're gonna call the cops and we're gonna <laughs> hold you here, and then we're gonna give a statement. And it's like, ah, oh, fine, just get the hell out of yeah, here. For, you know? for two hundred. Actually, yeah. just ch- talking about that in one of my classes, and it was came up finders keepers. Finders keepers. Finders keepers. Finders keepers. Finders keepers right. Finders keepers. Losers weepers. Right. Mm. So we assign blame to the other person who lost it, oh. not the person who found it and took it. It's not our fault we found that thing and took it. It's your fault for losing it. Yes. Is kind of our mindset. Yeah. And so but it's not the mindset of the Japanese. Right. Or or me. <laughs> <laughs> or me. And me either. Yeah. <laughs> Put well, that one straight. It's kind of like this situation where they say, oh, Okay, I'm I'm just gonna stop and give it up and She's let good. you go. She's fine. Right. Yeah. That's totally I mean I've been in Japan for so long. I've been here for seven years mm. that I don't have that finders keepers anymore. It's like, oh look, somebody's wallet. I better take it to the police station. You know, <laughs> well, if I find a wallet, I mean, I had that mentality when I was in the United States. If I find a wallet, I take it to the police. If I find money, it's mine. <laughs> yeah, well, if it's, it's money, finders buy keepers. So you do the finders keepers. If it's just money, there's no way I can identify whose person's money this is. I'm gonna oh, take so this money. Like, oh, it's just money. That's different. That's just like that's like well, yeah, God I mean, giving you money. Nobody's man. gonna be able to identify their money it's exactly. like exactly oh, is that exactly. a thousand yen yeah uh, well, that's my thousand bag. yen it's my thousand <laughs> money yen now oh. yeah if I, if I find money i'm taking the money if i find a wallet that has somebody's id in it this can be verified and if i take the money out of the wallet it would be no different than me taking the wallet out of somebody's pocket taking the money and then throwing the wallet away i mean uh, that's you know, cool I was, I was, yeah. I was go on the river. Yeah, go right. on <laughs> i was walking along the river a few months ago uh-huh. and i found ichimaya and bill laying on the ground Nice. People find money in Japan yen. all the time. Oh, sure. I looked around. There was nobody around. You know, I'm right. like, well, okay, well, well I guess it's my you, yeah. you guys know about this, right? Yeah. People are always finding money in yeah. Japan, just like yeah. 
random places like exactly. oh i just found 20,000 yen you know or or some it's always in the news about somebody finding some sort of money somewhere well my friend found uh was it sanju man in a bag what? he took you're, it to the police station yeah wow yeah. your your Turns own out, found a, a a sword right yeah my daughter your yeah. daughter found a, a a katana sword that's like really old and something like that in a oh, house oh no actually that's oh no 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 that's a that's a that's a different story uh, my daughter is actually f- uh, was given a, a a proper sword. It was it was given uh, a proper sword. Yeah, okay. uh, and uh, she's returned it, um, or she's trying to return it back to here in Japan. For, actually, it's it's um, from Niigata. It's in New Zealand at the moment, but it's a uh, it's the traditional one. It wasn't the one for the Second World War where they just stamped them together and uh-huh. it's it's been done forged properly with the several fold you know well, how many folds like they have 30 back in the folds. Meiji period the Meiji or something period, like that yeah. wow and it's got the stamp and, uh, and it's still got everything there you know? so it's a price it, do, you, do you know if it's a Masamune or not I don't know no, seriously okay. but all I know is that it, 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 it's it's got a certificate with it you know wow so sorry isn't that Sephiroth's sword well you know <laughs> The, the, that's the yeah it's called the Masamune but Masamune was a person I guess who created swords back oh, yeah, in the day yeah, yeah, so they just yeah. use the name Masamune. you know the in the game of, the name of the uh, the name of the uh, he's the, the one who invented the fold you're, you're talking yeah, about uh, Final hitters. Fantasy 7 right Final Fantasy 7 where it's like he's the guy with a really long Nogachi sword you know, actually Ah Me just did a recently not too long ago they, they actually made that sword that really super long uh, Masamune sword yeah, my wow. friend bought a fake one. Oh, fake? Well, how does it work? Is, is it good? Uh, I guess so. I mean, it was scary enough having it swung near me. <laughs> does it wobble? <laughs> no, it doesn't wobble. Really? Wow. How long is it? It's my height, so I'm... Oh, wow. That's pretty, that's oh, wow. Pretty, that's a big yeah. sword. The, the, in the game, yeah, in the game, it was, like, really super long, right? Yeah. And uh, Ami did, did theirs, and when they were swinging it, it actually bent. I don't know, maybe... You can't see the bend in it because you're swinging it so fast, but there there probably is a bend in the sword. It's that long, you know? Omni's the YouTuber, right? Yeah. 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 Has he posted something recently? Uh, he's posted all kinds of stuff. Oh. You're, you're, not, uh, not, not of the, the dead fantasy hmm. dead show. Fantasy. No, no, no. This is the guy who, who actually makes weapons and armor and stuff <laughs> like that from various like shows and whatnot. Ooh, A-W-E-M-E. Awe me! I'm gonna yeah, have to see me. this. Oh. I'm gonna have to see this. Yeah. this he, I want to see. He like he actually built uh, Cloud's uh, uh, that Buster big sword. ass Buster sword. Yeah, mm. he oh. he did that too. Wait, no, not did he buy? Did he do the Buster sword, which was originally Buster sword, the original Angel Hulies, mm. or yeah. did he do the Tsurugi? No, no, he did okay. the Buster sword. He did the wow. Buster sword. I know too much. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a nerd. That's I'm cool. Impressed. <laughs> no, that's the, the no. The term We're is geek. Nerd. I'm impressed. No, no, geek. nerd. I'm sorry. You don't call a nerd a geek. <laughs> nerd. <laughs> Nerd. He wants nerd. to be called a nerd. Hell okay. yeah, I'm totally nerd. Totally nerd. I'm all nerd. Otaku. Yeah, it's otaku. Otaku. Right? Yeah, who cares? Well, it's cool. Like in J- Japanese, we say otaku, yeah. which is actually the connotation of otaku is pretty bad. It's more like freak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like freak, right? Yeah. Yeah. Really? right. A freak yeah. about something, though. Yeah, right? yeah. about a specific about, thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, it could be. You could be a, a car otaku freak. about a cars. Car freak or, or, yeah, yeah, that would be me. Oh I'm shit, guys! Oh. Car otaku. What? Are we out of time, really? What? Sorry, my bad. I didn't mean to cuss and stuff like that. But we're out of time. Okay. Thank you very much for coming on. Yeah, uh, thank you. That was awesome. Yes. And also, William, who's over there at the, the door at the moment. letting people in. Craig, mm-hmm. hey, thank you very much for letting us do the podcast You're here. welcome. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the beer. And, uh, wish we could, uh, I wish we could show you the food that Craig is going to be bringing out here for the uh, appreciation party tonight because it's really, really good. Maybe but I'll add that in there. Yeah, 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 add, yeah. That so in add that in. Try to add that in. Add that in. Get some footage of that because, yeah, sure. yeah you need to. You right need right to yeah, you, if, you're, if you're in Niigata... You got to get down here. This is where yeah. you need to be. This is the best place to meet foreigners, probably in Niigata. This is the best place to meet. One of this them. is anybody. the best place to meet cool foreigners. <laughs> this is the best place to meet anybody. You want to meet somebody? You got to come here. Yeah. This is this is where the business happens. The this business. is the Kiwi Tavern, the local in Furumachi, Niigata, Japan. Honcho, not Furumachi, Honcho. Sorry, Honcho, Honcho, which is close. Yeah, to close to Furumachi. Yeah, one street away. One yep. street away. It's like right over there. I get yeah, to very close to. Uh, yes, you could spit on it. Very right close there. to the uh, place Ito we're playing Yoka tomorrow. Do. Yeah, 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 we're playing. That's right. We're playing the the, the uh, uh, worst, worst case, case scenario. scenario is playing at the Joya Mia, 
And we're going to play three songs, right? Or yeah. maybe four. Maybe is we'll it tomorrow or Monday? Yeah. It's Monday. Yeah. Monday. Monday, Monday. Oh, sorry, Monday. Not tomorrow, Monday. Monday. Not tomorrow, Monday. Tomorrow, Monday. Tomorrow, Monday. Tomorrow, Monday. This is yeah. Saturday. Mm-hmm. So. I will yeah, make, make sure, sure night, to come yes. in here. and hear you play. Eight, Eight o'clock. o'clock. Right. Eight o'clock. We're going to be Eight playing 30? probably about nine. We'll nine. Nine. Um, nine. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. We'll so. be there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the coolest one in the, in the band. I'm, really? I play the, the bass. So. Oh. Yeah. Go on. He gets all the chicks. Go on. Do you go on? Do go on. He gets all the chicks. I used to be the bass player. Who's the singer? He's the singer. I, I am. Oh, sorry, okay. about <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry about that. We might be. I, I haven't heard you yet. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, good, you, good. I'm, our, I'm just apologizing in advance. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you go, I'm going to take away 10 minutes of your life, and you're never getting it back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're done. All right, thank thank, thank you. you very much. Cheers, everyone. See you. Guard your smash. See you. Yep. See you. Bye. <laughs> hey, Trey, let me have one of you. Look up and smile. I got small lips. I'm gonna put it on my Facebook. There's, there's one more flight to come. One more of these dishes to come, so don't worry. Miss out. <laughs> yeah. Do you want some stuff in your own unit? Uh, yeah, try it, man. You like the stuff. Sure you do. Mm-hmm. Try it. Come back, man. Thank you, Craig. You're welcome, brother. You want some stuffing? Yes, please. And you. Look at this. Yeah, I like this.